everyone, I'm Chelsea, and I want to talk to you today about a dream I had. I know, crazy. Um, so, you'll probably be interested in this if you're a Steven Universe uh, fan of the show. Fan of the show, Steven Universe. Um, so I had this dream last night where um, Steven and Garnet were, like, hanging out at the house, you know, off of Beach City. And Garnet wanted to have, like, a one-on-one -on -one with Steven. And this might be a little bit spoilery, so just kind of make sure you're caught up, because I'd hate to ruin anything. Um, but in this dream, uh, Garnet uh, took Steven into, like, the... What do they even call those rooms where they, like, put their gems up to it? Like, Garnet has two gems, so that's why I'm doing this. And they open the room, and... It's like anything can happen in their room. It's just for their gems. The room can only exist if sardonyx is together kind of thing. Anyway, so it's Garnet takes Steven into like her room, I guess. And um, she asks Steven how he feels about his mother. And um Steven gets a little nervous and kind of like, I wish I could just like show you because it was like a, it was like I was watching this new episode, and um, he starts seeing Rose, his mom, and she's like kind of frail looking, like she's like looks kind of ill, and like her curly pink hair is like drooping more and like. It's basically Steven's perception of his mom, I guess, is the, the point of the, like, uh, Garnet was trying to, like, see, was trying to, trying to see that Steven's perception of his mom, and, um, so, he doesn't like it, and suddenly Connie was there, and Connie says, stop, Garnet, this isn't helping Steven, um, know how he feels about his mom. And she's, like, so protective of Steven that she, like, drew out the sword and was going to fight Garnet. And Garnet is like, all right, I'll fight you, Connie. But the, Garnet starts to, like, split into Sapphire and Ruby because Sapphire apparently had this planned. And Ruby had no idea, which I don't know when they're Garnet. I don't know how... Ruby wouldn't know, but Ruby's like, I don't want to fight Connie, I'm not going to fight Connie, and Sapphire says, don't worry, I know what I'm doing, and, like, Sapphire pulls up this, like, golden, shining sword to, like, fight her, and Ruby's, like, so nervous, but she decides to trust Sapphire, and, like, <clears throat> between them, like, starting to sword fight and stuff, uh, they combine back into Garnet, and, uh, from there, Steven is so, like, scared, he's like, why is Connie and Garnet and Sapphire fighting, and now she's Garnet again, and Steven was really confused, and, like, his perception of his mom, because, like, his mom was standing there, those, like, frail, ga like, gangly almost looking version of his mom was sitting there. They're all, they're all in Garnet's room while this is happening, which is kind of strange since the room went apart. You'd think that the room would go apart, but then they were back together, so I don't know. My brain dropped that detail. But in the resolution or in the haze of my dream, um, he was able to um, start thinking of his mom in other ways. And, like, she turns into, like, this triangle, like, pudgy figure where she has, like, ditto eyes and, like, a weird, creepy smile. But in her curly hair is all, like, ringlets again. But it's, like, sh way short. It's really weird. There's, like, this little triangle, pudgy version of Rose Quartz. <clears throat> and, like, it, the point of the dream was at the end... Steven didn't know how he felt about his mom. And I know there was just an episode about that. And I think I really liked that episode. That, like, my subconscious is like, I want that to expand more. I want them to expand on that. And I'm sure they will. 
But yeah, it was just a fun dream that I had. It felt like a real episode, even though it was weird, like a dream. Like, dreams are fucked up. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't say that when I'm talking about Steven Universe. Well, anyways, then maybe should put, like, a warning. I use foul language. Um, but yeah, it was just the weird perceptions he had of his mom, like how she was, like, dismembered and stuff. It was really creepy. And how... It did look really cool when Sapphire and Ruby, like, broke apart. It got all shiny. Because it wasn't exactly how, how it was in the show. It was, like, it was a little different. They got all shiny and they kind of, like, ripped apart. Kind of, it's similar to the one time when, um, Jasper had put, separated them. But, <coughs> <coughs> instead of them retreating back into their gems, they just split as, as separate gems as themselves and poor Sapphire was like or sorry poor Ruby was like I don't know what you're doing Sapphire why are you fighting Connie and Connie was just like ready she was just like I'm cut this I'm cut this gem was she messing with my Steven <laughs> but um throwing it out to you guys if anyone watches this uh what do you think um will happen with Steven's mom and his relationship with her will he have more times like that with her in throughout the series or um and now I'm referring to the one of the more recent episodes where he is in his little dream room or his gem room <coughs> I'm sick I'm sorry I'll, I'll just edit that out um where he talks to her and like actually kind of vents it about to her in a sense and it kind of reminded me I okay I'm gonna go on a tangent so I just freaking love the little references they have here and there the cute ones like where they were playing with the football that's like Snoopy like pe the peanuts the Charlie Brown and stuff where he goes and like runs into the football and then he flips I was like I love that and then there was the other one where it was um uh, okay, so there's sour cream, and then the twin girls, and then the other guy who's married to his son, which I'm lacking on his name right now, because I'm usually really good at their names, but he goes, I finally saw you laughing in the pizza rain, and I was like, that's purple rain, that's Prince, I love it, I love that they throw out those references for, like, that for older generations, and I've, like, every time I've said that, or seen that, and I tell my friends, I'm like, oh my god, that's a Prince reference, that's, they don't get it, and I'm like, oh man, I hope some people at least noticed it, I'm sure, I'm totally sure that they have. Oh, I wish I would have saw you laughing in the pizza rain. Love it, I love the shout out to Prince, it was so cool. And like I said, the Snoopy thing, where he, like, runs up to the football and does the classic flip I love that little that like little homage to the peanuts it was really good really funny uh yeah I went off on a little tangent there but yeah the question I was gonna say was uh what you guys think of um Steven and Rose in general what do you think might happen there and are there any other things you're looking forward to? I'd love to read them about them in the comments if you guys end up watching this. Probably end up titling this, like, Weird Steven Universe Dream or something. Um, yeah, I just wanted to sort of practice my talking in front of a camera, and I hope it went well. Alright, thanks guys for watching, and... Have a lovely rest of your week, day, month, year, here, on 2017. I know it's a, a little, things are a little scary out there right now. I won't get into that, but I hope everyone's well. Bye!